Kore, could you box it in the park? It has not been a walk in the park for the box uh, for this burial to be conducted in South Africa. I see that we see such machine. But I had to come to an understanding. Your influence and your presence has made this possible. I have nothing to say about events. What causes me to speak is your presence. His death has happened and you are the reason. You may not understand that. You see, if you look in the songs of songs, chapter one, chapter one, verse six, verse six, it says, "Don't undermine my complexion." says, "Don't undermine my complexion." Uh, my skin got darkened. Because my elder brothers made me look after their fields. While my own field was being eaten up by birds. Let's just step away from Evans for a moment. Uh, Daniel chapter 7. In the book of Daniel chapter 7. Verse is nine and ten. Verses nine and ten. There are books that are in heaven. Where your names are written there. All of us have a story to tell, and that story must be recorded. No one can sit here and they don't have a history. I want to teach you all to speak Shona. Follow after me. Alright, meaning there is the introduction. Or oh, that's what we call a, a prologue. No, no, I'm in the media. A prologue. <laughs> then, Dopano Perera Sarangano, here is the end of the story, the epilogue. We used to grow up relating stories when we were still young. Then the old people will say, Kwai wapo. Then everybody sits around and starts to listen. Some stories were exciting. Some were scary and bitter. Some would give, get, get us shivering under our skins. Some would make us chuckle in laughter. If another story is well told, you might lose your sleep. Some were very short, the stories. Some were long stories. You may even fall asleep while grandmama is still relating the story. Then the other story gets finished when you're still anticipating more episodes. That's what life is all about. It's a story. From the day you are born, God starts writing your story. Once upon a time. As you live. With all accuracy. God, God writes everything. Your story will never go unnoticed. You are the ink yourself. Your actions and your works produce the writing. As they are writing. The Bible which you have in our hands is just but one chapter. The rest of it is still looking at us today. 
Hakuna unorungano kwa tisinga ndove rengi. There is no story that will be hidden that will not be read and understood. Musoka bere kwa iso. The day this young man was born. Kwa iwapo. Then it was the first story once upon a time. As we sitting here today in this community hall, this side of earth, this is where the story ends. Whether it makes you happy or it makes you cry, that's your own problem. But God has written. Come on, church. One, day, Come on, wake one up. day when we get yonder, we will not miss a story. We will not miss a story. The illustration is that we start off with patriarchs such as Noah. We read about Job. But you also will not finish that chapter until you read Maponga J. Uh, it will take us time to understand God. Even the private and the secret things are also recorded. Even the activities of the mind, they are also recorded. Words that you spoke and you thought about and you had sentiments over, they are all recorded. Your works are also on record. Truth is there also. Amen. Amen. Including lies also be found in some lines. I had to give in that the funeral be conducted. I was forced, I was compelled to have to conduct the funeral this side of the border. I have a word for you as South Africans. Be careful the type of ink you are using to write your story. That's what made me comply. I don't know how beautiful, how nice, how useful and useless, important or you are. I don't know you. But the angels and the Holy Spirit. But the God whom I worship, the angels and the Holy Spirit. One day. He will say this is the end of the story. So be very careful. changes why. Be very late. Sunurai. Young girls, young girls, young women, husbands, fathers, you are writing your stories. And then we are going to read them in heaven. It's you who tells the story. Angels writing. The Holy Spirit writing. Accuracy with all accuracy. There is, you cannot say God cheated me out of Be the very careful. God never cheats nobody. I cannot talk about the dead. I'm not scared of death either. I cannot cry for death either. But what makes me sad are the quality of the stories that we are bearing. So, I bid you farewell. We will bury the young man. And I'll be on my way home. I will tell God that I told them. 